and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah. This is the Brandenburg Gate and we're in Berlin! <laughs> right, well it's the next day since I recorded that last little bit and I didn't get my camera out because I suck. But I'm now in the hostel alone. Well, my sister's here, but no one else is in the room. So I thought I'd show you around the hostel. It's pretty dark in here, so I've got to get my phone out so I can use the light. But this is my sister's bunk and this is my bunk. Now, I really like the fact that these bunks have curtains. It's a lot more private. So you just slide it across and no one can see in or out. We're in an eight bed dorm. So there's no, one. We're in a ten bed. We're in a ten, ten, ten wood. Ten bed dorm. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and eight, and then this is the the front door. So you walk in and it's like this. Nice and secluded, I think. I really like that fact. Also, me and Phoebe have definitely the best bunks because we're around this corner as well. We're right next to the station, as you can see down there. Sorry about the lighting, it's absolutely awful, I'm on my phone. But a couple of things about the hostel. They, even though it says free breakfast on this little thing here, it's not free breakfast, it's four euros for a buffet style breakfast and you can have toast and fruit and cereal and coffee and juice and then you pay a little bit extra, you can have a full like cooked breakfast as well. I love the lockers, I forgot to show you, let me show you the lockers. So they're underneath the bed like this and you just pull them out and they're in like a, a metal cage and then obviously it has a nice little, where are we, a nice little lock there. So yeah, just remember to bring a lock and you're good to go and then you just slide it back under. I'll take you to the bathrooms now. Hopefully no one's there. I'll just show you really quickly. So this is the female shower and bathroom and there's just two bathrooms and a shower, but that's always locked. I've never actually been able to get into that one. But you just follow down here and there's the facilities. And so in here are cubicle bathrooms, um, showers I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a sink here and also here. And they have um, hair dryers right there for you. Um, another thing is there's no like common room. So this is literally the common room. Like normally if you're in the room, you're not talking. You have to be quiet because of everyone else. And you don't know when they got in, so they could be sleeping and stuff like that. But here, you just hang out here on these, <laughs> there's a little table like you just saw with two chairs and this is also where we eat because there's no kitchen. If you buy food you can't you can't store it anywhere so I've been having to buy things that just don't have to go in a fridge which is kind of annoying because I don't buy food out. Um, I buy all my food and then make it myself because I feel like that's the cheapest way I can do it. They do offer 25% off of the food downstairs and you're allowed to take food to eat downstairs as well but I just prefer to eat it up here. I have honestly haven't spent much time down there because I can't I don't buy a drink. So I feel bad sitting down there then, you know? And it's a little uh, swipey key that you use to get in and out of the of the rooms. So that's it for this hostel review. Like I said, it is St. Christopher's Inn's Backpacking Hostel in Berlin. Um, not my favorite, not my worst. It's kind of a, you know, a little in-betweener right there. So this building you can see there, going off into, where is my finger? Going off into the fog. It's actually the TV tower. Um, on a day not like today you can literally see that from everywhere <laughs> um but yeah so unfortunately it's not in view today this cathedral is saint mary's cathedral literally the bells have literally just stopped ringing that's annoying <laughs> I wanted to get it with the bells ringing but we're now heading down to um berlin cathedral or dome what is it? Um, well, this is Berlin Cathedral. Oh, Berlin but Cathedral. The, but it's called St. Cal, St. Dome. It's the cathedral with the big dome on it. Yeah. And you can like walk around it. It's really nice. We went up there the other day. Um, it was the first day we got here actually. And it was a bit, like everything wasn't covered in fog like today. And it was good. The view was like decent. I, yeah. It was, how much was it to get up? Um, it was seven pounds for me and five pounds. It was seven euros, but it was five euros for a student, so I used my student card. Maybe I should put that. <laughs> um, so it's yeah, five euros. It was worth it. Um, it was pretty pretty cool, and the inside was lovely, really nice. So we sat there and we listened to the organs play, so that was nice. <laughs> Yeah, 
big it is. So in World War II, this dome cathedral actually was like a target point um, for when they were dropping bombs. And because of that, it's, um, it's kind of fully intact compared to the city, which how much was 70% of it? 70% of it was just completely flattened. Um, but because they use this as like a target point and a reference, most of it is still um, the original, except I think they said he read they, they read. Uh, so I went on a walking tour, that's how I know this. <laughs> um, they redid um, the top of it, right? Yeah, the dome, but it's right the top. Um, and then if you look up close, you can see there's actual um, shrapnel pieces that have flown off and hit it and they've had to repair it. So this is a better view of the patch work that I was telling you about where they had to just patch up where the debris had uh, smashed it down. You can see it all along the sides there, little square bits where they've had to refill. Well, we've stumbled upon a nice little Sunday market. So we're gonna have a little stroll down here and see what they've got. Bye, Phoebe. Bye, Phoebe.